Welcome back guys, it's Kids from Playground here and today we're back for another video in Scratch. And today we're back with the How to Draw series. And um, as you know we started a new series called How to Draw and today I'll be teaching you how to draw this very, uh, this gopher here. Um, if you don't know what a gopher is, uh, it's like a type of, uh, I think it's like some, it's like a groundhog, I think. It's like, it's like a rat. I think it's a mammal. It's a mammal, definitely. And it's like they live in prairies and they have like gopher holes to like come out and they like hide from snakes and stuff. So anyways, um this is a gopher and I'll be trying to teach you how to draw a gopher. And let's start drawing. So first we have to make the fill a dark brown color, which is um maybe like so I got my color up here, 05751, and um, we'll be using this to try to, uh, or attempt to, draw the um, the plump side of the body. And you want to turn the thickness to 5. Draw a circle. Do not hold shift, guys. I know mainly I told you guys to hold shift, but no, do not hold shift, because you want it to be like an oval shape, to maybe look like a peanut or so, something like that. So, I just hid my gopher so you can see it better. And so, there we have it. Put it over there. And you need the reshape tool now. Remember, an oval, guys. And we're just going to flatten it out. So, reshape tool. And we're going to make it look like it got rolled by a dough pin. And make it uh, extended out. So, there we have that. And we make it go a little bit up. And a little bit out like kind of like that like it's not it's like a syrup it's like a oval it's like a lips a lips i would say it just looks more like a lips so uh and then you put the sides in and there we have a peanut shell which is the body of the gopher and we're going to make the eyes next, which is just a white pupil. I mean, just white, just white, just bright white. So, like that. And then the outline is five or three. I forgot. And then you hold shift for this one. And then you do that. And then you around put it over there. And then you have to uh, put the black pupil. Pure black. Oh, no, never mind. I have to make a new click. Uh, pure black. And then you make a smaller point. No fill. I mean, no line. And then you put it on. Hold shift. And you make this part of the eye. And then you put a, uh, a white pu pupil inside the iris so yep there we got it and then we go shift and make i go shift and then do that it's almost impossible to see but once you put in the black it should be fine and you want it to be a little bit smaller and there we have the pupil of the gopher and then you put the mouse hold down shift you get the mouse, hold down shift, so then you can group the whole thing. Shift, and then you click on all three of those. And then group, and then control C, control V, and then you make the second eye. And then now, you have to make the nose and the mouth. So the nose is just an oval shape, uh, black. We're gonna do the um actually the peach the peach color first. So a uh, hundred saturation twenty five and then now we have that outline. We don't need outline. Actually, we do need outline. We need to go black and then you need three for that. And then you go make yourself an oval. Do not hold down shift. So it looks like Rudolph. And then you uh, reshape the thing. To a kind of like looks like a pea pod yeah yeah there we go see like that kind of shape 
slow it down. And then now you have to make the nose, the button nose, just a black, just pure black. And then you use the outline, no outline, and then you just make a nice nose. Right now the gopher looks like it has a mustache, but after when it finishes, it won't look like it will. So you make the two little teeth, which are just two rectangles, that are white, pure white. And then you can make the outline, you need to put on outline, you make it black, and you make the thickness three. So if you want to be creative with your items, you can actually make the teeth a yellow color, but I'm not going to do that here, like it has stained teeth or something. So, and then you have that, you reshape it, and then you pull it out, whoop, and then you control C, control V, actually, yes. Control C, Control V, and then you put it right over there. Make the teeth touch. And then you make it go back. You can reshape the teeth to make it look crooked and like it can you can be creative with your ideas and uh, like a little bit like that. So because you know all teeth are not the same, so you can make that. And they will touch. And then we touch them and make them go back. So we have this mouse pointer. Hold down shift and then you group these two together. And make them go all the way in the back and then click forward. And then they will be right behind the mouth so now it's time to draw the ears so it's just a circle but we'll be using only half of the circle so and the outline is five and then you draw a circle like that and you put it in and then you um make and you make it go to the back and there we have it we have our ears and now you have to draw the inside but first yes we have to draw the inside pure black and then make it a small no outline make it a small semicircle so um we have that put it over here and there we have that and then we make it go back and then click on clicking forward until it goes over there. And now we can group these two and then make a second ear. So hold down shift and then control C and then control V, you group it. And then it's in the front right now. So make it go, you flip horizontal, make it go back, send them back. And then with the other ear, you send it back too. And there we have our two little ears. And now it's time to make the two little, it's time to draw the hands, which are, the, um, which are just hands, uh, which are this color, this peach color. And you make the five for the thickness, E, wrong one. And then you make a three for the thickness and then you click and then you make the five for the thickness and then you make the um, hand, which is just a circle, a feet, 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 which is just a circle. And then you draw a line right through it, chop the line through it. And yeah, you just uh, spin it with that thing. You know how to use that, right? And then you reshape it to make it look like a oval with the bend inside. So like that. Like something a horse hoof would look like. And then you have to extend it a little bit, make a line right through it, chop a line right through the feet, foot. And then you make it, you reshape the line a little bit so it looks like it's a line, like curved line. So yeah, and now we just have to make this go to the back. You hold down shift for both of those and then group it to the back. Group and then 
send them back. And then you control C, control V, and then you have the other side of the foot. Flip horizontal, place it on the other side, back. And now we have to make the arms, which is just a duplicate of the foot, but just a small, lot smaller, and the line inside their hands are just different. And then, yep, we have that. Make it a little bit smaller. And then make the line inside. Ungroup it and make the line inside. Delete it. Just delete it. And then make a new line and cut it right through just a straight line. No crooks, no anything. And now right here we have to make it now we group it and now we can make it go to the back and you control c control v it and then you make the second arm perspective and you flip it horizontal and then we have both of the arms finished so that's our go for guys feel free to pause anywhere you had trouble with and yeah um this looks so the first one that i made looked a lot better than whatever um i drew right here so i'm just going to delete it gone and now and we have this which is my original gopher and every single time i draw something i want to make a variant there we got futuristic we got lever and everything so yeah and um you can also make some costumes you want to be creative with your thinking you can just uh make like you know ghost to make ghost you know be creative have fun you can make like ghost uh gopher gopher ghost gg <laughs> and um yeah you can make a bunch of things on lot on that you think are really cool so it's just some art that you could do in your free time so yeah you can do whatever you want, make it uneven, do whatever you want. You can make this mustard yellow, and then you can make one the outline yellow. You can be creative with thinking. There's millions of things that you can do with this uh, thing, and yeah, you can just be creative with your thinking. So, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is right now, but okay, uh, and yeah. We have <laughs> Mr. Gopher Man. So, um, we have our gopher here, Mr. Gopher, all messed up. But, okay, it's all fine. We just be creative. And you can make your own animations with these things that we taught you how to draw. Like, we have our penguin, for example. We have that. We can, you can make a thing. Like, if you made Futuristic Penguin, you can make the Futuristic Penguins beat the Jurassic Penguin, you know? Or you can make penguin meets gopher and stuff like that. You know, have some fun with that. And um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below what else you want us to draw. And anyways, see you guys next time.